Hello everyone, this is Bryant with AmusementSource.media and we have ventured back down to San Antonio, Texas here at SeaWorld San Antonio because it is Hallow Scream time. Hallow Scream is their high intensity spooky Halloween event here at the park that takes place in the evenings. Now they have all kinds of haunted houses. They have new a new territory this year with monsters. And I think the one really cool thing about SeaWorld San Antonio is that their Hallow Scream houses are free with admission to the park. Of course, you can upgrade to a skip the line pass, but by default, definitely one of the more cost-effective Halloween events around. So as the sun sets, we'll walk through the territory, see the monsters, give you all a really good look at Hallow Scream. Perhaps maybe go through some haunted houses and show you those. Haunted houses haven't changed, but they've really upped their game with haunted houses over the last handful of years. So you still have some really great options to choose from. Let's head into the park and get spooky. I can see you from behind. You can hear me in your mind. Run so fast as you here at the front we wanted to stop off in the gift shop just to take a look at some of the Halloween merch they do have it in multiple places but first thing that kind of caught my eye is that they actually have uh, attraction specific pins so $17 but this is a haunted house here and they have Atlantis haunted house Let's see you've got disassembly line and do we have any of the other ones I'm not sure they do have uh, this weird guy. <laughs> it's fun though to see some of these, even though I'm kind of knocking them all over. We're just continuing our uh, little merch look. We got a lot of the same kind of things going on. So if you uh, do $25 or more, you can get one of these blankets for 20 bucks. Got this Hallow Scream shirt. Thing on the back. Oh yeah, you got like uh, this crazy skull thing on the back what do we got over here person of interest all right you've got a sweater with all of the haunted houses on it all of the all of the haunted houses for this park got the little hollow scream logo on the front there looks like we've got another spirit jersey this one has like a octopus on it and then this spooky dude on the front I think they're probably trying to stretch the Atlantis theme a little bit yeah because it oh uh, I don't even think that's Halloween <laughs> all right let's keep moving this way oh so we got the hello scream baseball jerseys back 25 on the back and then that sweater that we saw earlier they do have like a shirt version of that I think these are a little bit pricey, yeah, $37. And you've got all of your SeaWorld San Antonio attractions on the back there, all the haunts. Fun idea though, for sure. As we wait for the sun to go down and the monsters to come out, there are some daytime Halloween activities, including the Spooktacular and the Dia de los Muertos set up, which at night will be all lit up. And if you want to send something to SeaWorld. They have the information on the screen there and they will put your uh, your loved one or your uh, your friends here on the ofrenda. Display the uh, pictures. And nighttime has fallen. So first up is this uh, Blackwater Bayou area. You can see the fencing. That's how you know it's time to go. But the line for the Swamp Haunted House is actually uh, very long and I'm not sure I want to pay $60 for a one time skip the line so we might have to be a little strategic about how we hit these. Look at this guy right here. This is a Blackwater Bayou area. Uh oh. We'll just keep going I guess. Oh, kick the trash can. I don't see anybody else out here but I'm sure we will soon. 
Hello Stream festivities just started and it's already uh, pretty, pretty busy out here. The sign for the swamp was a 60 minute wait. We're coming up on a bunch of characters though. Look at these people. This huge, uh, it's like a huge stilt man right there. Oh my goodness. Oh. Says that uh, this assembly line is only a 15 minute wait, so I think we'll, uh, I think we'll, I think we'll try to brave it. <laughs> Let's see if it's uh, 15 minutes. in there. Push the button! Please push it! <laughs> this one can't do. Oh yeah! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh! <laughs> What the heck is that? Oh. assembly line you run into this industry district which has all of these crazy things going on you've got this guy up here doing crazy stuff 
You've got a DJ. You've got fire. You've got some characters out here too. Dancing. There they go. Dancing away. All right, so we're coming up on the entrance to Wave Breaker, the rescue coaster, and they've got these like toy boxes. Definitely saw this guy moving earlier. Uh-oh. These are spooky. I don't know. Oh. She's very protective of her toys. Oh. What's this thing over here? What are you? Oh. Jeez. Got a wind-up doll over here. Taking pictures with people. And then we've got other folks. Uh, oh. Locked off earlier. She's running. I like this. Uh, it's kind of like an extension of this dollhouse area. As we head toward the Bunny Bradley's haunted house and the Great White Roller Coaster. You run into the Nightmare Midway, which has all kinds of interesting characters. Someone dropped their bag. I thought it was a monster. <laughs> the fog smells really bizarre in here. I'm not sure I like it. I think it's supposed to be like a, I don't know, like a churro or a funnel cake or something. Oh, here we go. We have somebody right here. Oh my goodness. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, pretty friendly. Right? And then you've got Bunny Bradley's, another haunted house right here. To the left. Looks like we've got some monsters terrorizing the Bunny Bradley queue. What is this thing? A lot of people out here tonight. I'll try to turn around. There we go. What is it? I think it's like a circus tent dress. Yeah. It's fun. She has like a carousel dress on. This guy. Oh no. I like her dress. Spooky clowns. What the heck is that thing? What is that? He's like a hot he's got a hot dog on his head. Got a cotton candy man. Like wants to poke cotton candy. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> Those are phenomenal. I love mo. Oh my! Trying to stab me. Oh. Next up for us is going to be Bunny Bradley's, which was a brand new haunt last year, themed to a spooky ice cream shop. I actually like this one. Uh, yes, I would like a, a, I would like a scoop of, uh, what is that? Oh, delicious. Wow. Okay. Oh. This got weird. Dirty kitchen is terrible. Dirty kitchen. Who's that? Oh, okay, sorry. Sorry. We gotta get out of the kitchen. Okay. What the heck is that noise? Whoa, who is that? He got me. What is that? 
Oh. oh my gosh. I love it. You see, it's just ice cream, okay? You want help? I need ice cream. And you don't I can't ice help ice you. What is it? Why is there a coffin in the ice cream shop? What the heck is this room? We gotta go. We gotta go. Okay. What the heck are they doing to that guy? I don't like that noise. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry. Whoa. What's in there? What happened to her? Okay. Whoa. Whoa. It's so cold in here I can see my breath. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's someone in here? Wow, they're probably pretty cold. What is... Okay. Alright. Oh. <laughs> Okay, oh, okay. Okay, all right. What the heck is that? What's going on in here? What are you doing? All right. Oh, crap. Look at all this wasted ice cream. <laughs> Before we head over into the vampire territory, got a new uh, food booth since I've been here last, which is this Cheetos Flamin' Hot Night Bites. I think this is pretty much the only place you're going to get like some themed uh, Halloween goodies, but all kinds of Flamin' Hot stuff, popcorn, churros. You can just get the chips if you want, the mac and cheese, a manganata. All kinds of stuff. It's time for some vampire action. You got a mixture of all kinds of folks in here. They got sliders, unassuming looking vampires, lots of fog. Don't see any vampire. Oh, okay. There she is. Oh. All right. I kind of blend in over here. I'm not wearing any like crazy costume. Wow, that music is really intense. All right. Oh, we got another one over here. Here we go. Hello, vampire. Oh. Oh. My goodness. Business is picking up as we head down this way. For sure. Oh. The smell of fresh blood. Yeah. Care to give any? Uh, no, I, 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 don't, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, who's this like Jester? Kneel before your queen. Whoa. <laughs> this is escalating quickly. I don't usually donate blood, but I guess if someone needs it, I could. Who's this per I see somebody with like a headdress on. Oh, here we go. They're coming back this way. Oh. All right. Who's this person? Oh. All right. I think we made it without having to donate any blood. Good news, everyone. Right before you end up at the Orca Stadium, you run into Milton Creek Manor. This is uh, one of the more longer standing haunted houses at this point, but does have a quite a line. So I think we're going to make the executive decision to skip it and go check out some more of the roaming characters and territories. And uh, we, you know, we have walkthroughs, lights on tours of Milton Creek Manor. So I encourage you to check out our SeaWorld playlist. You will find it there. Oh, we're going to keep on heading this way to check out this brand new territory. 
All right. So they've got a brand new bar over here called Sliced, which looks like a big wedding cake. So I think you're kind of getting, you're getting the vibe here, right? Got all kinds of monsters and stuff. They're all kind of like a, I don't know. What is he, why is he yelling? Uh, oh, okay. We're at like a wedding party. Got it. All right. Looks like at some point they have a band that plays over here. Kind of looks like uh, Prince. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's another one of those like, it's not like real scary. They're not like trying to come after you, but everybody's definitely, everybody's definitely a little bit off. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like a little bit off, you know? No big deal though. We do have some uh, specialty foods in uh, this area too at the uh, Love at First Bite. Oh, these people are getting chased down by a zombie. Okay. But they've got some stuff over here to try. They've got wedding rings, which are mini donuts in a 60th souvenir bowl. Zombie brains, mini funnel cakes. You can get wedding cupcakes. A turkey leg of all things. Jalapeno cheddar sausage on a stick or just a hot dog. Kind of a, a really interesting mix of food, that's for sure. Looks like uh, grandma has decided to get in on the dancing. She is done hanging out on the sidelines. She's ready to boogie with the walker. I, I didn't even see the hearse over there. It's been there the whole time. I didn't even pay attention. Oh, what the heck is that? I don't think you're supposed to be at this party. What in the world? It's like a goblin or something. <laughs> You know, there's just like uh, certain characters out here that don't seem like they were invited to this party, but kind of like this person with the shovel over here and the scary mask. I don't know. We've ended up in the Ripper Row territory, which is like Jack the Ripper themed loosely, kind of. Ready? It's like some steampunk touches. Look at Oh. <laughs> there he went. Looks like maybe the sliders have gone from vampires to serial killers. I don't know. Lots of actors over here though. What is she doing? And then there's people just casually playing games. I don't know what's going on out here. What is on his face? He got something on his face. Ooh. They were a lot less aggressive than the vampires, so that's good. Uh oh. What's going on over here? Is this like the final boss? I don't know. Hmm. Oh. All right, here next to Journey to Atlantis is another scare zone. Whoa. This like deep sea diver guy is really cool looking. This haunted house does that's over here also has a very long line. We waited over an hour for this assembly line, even though the sign said 15 minutes, so, but. It's real cool. Yeah. A little uh, spookier over here, not, not really the same kind of vibe as before. We'll talk more about the haunted houses when we do the uh, closing video. There's like fluid in there. Crazy. How cool. And at night, the uh, friend that we showed you earlier is all lit up with the uh, black light and there on the screen they've posted photos that people have shared with them for the ofrenda. All right, I think we're gonna head up to the front and head out of the park.
All right, everyone, that does it for this look at Hallow Scream here at SeaWorld San Antonio. Full disclosure, now that we're into October, it does get fairly busy here. And I'll kind of talk about why we did the haunted houses the way we did. It's just, we've been through all of those haunted houses before. The two that we went through, they didn't change at all, which is fine. Uh, but I didn't feel like spending $60 to do the upgrade. That's just, it's kind of a lot when you have done them already. Some of them you've done for three or four or five years now, but that's okay. I would say if you haven't done the houses, it's probably worth it. Their houses are a lot of fun, very detailed, and lots of scary actors in both of the houses we went through. Now, like I said, we have POVs. Every haunted house that is here right now, we have a POV for. Just go to our SeaWorld San Antonio playlist and you will see those there. If y'all have any questions about Hallow Scream, let us know in the comments below. We did have a lot of fun. I don't want to make it sound like we didn't have fun. We had a ton of fun. Like I said, the two haunts we went through were great. I love the new scare zone. I love the uh, kind of like the Atlantis themed scare zone with the big like deep sea diver costumes, like the old school costumes, very spooky, very cool. And the Nightmare Midway, those costumes were super awesome too. We thank you all for watching. Take care and we'll see you at a theme park.